Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another Rush Kit video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Asus GTX 970 Maxwell Edition uh, Strix card. Now, I'm just going to pop some uh, specs up for you so that you can have a look. Uh, it's PCI Express 3, 4 gigabyte of GDDR5. Um, we've got uh, the Maxwell Core is base clock is 1114 megahertz, which is um, up from 1050. It's got a factory overclock there. Then we've got uh, 1253 as the boost. The memory's running at 7000 megahertz on a 256 bus. Then if we, uh, if we go and have a look at another slide, we can see we've got a 1253, there we go, factory overclock core, but that's obviously the boost. It does say that it's a lot cooler, it does say it's quieter, game your way at the bottom, you can actually have some um, live streaming stuff. The direct CU cooler, they say it's 30% cooler and three times quieter. It will go semi-passive at low loads as well, which does make a massive difference. So even with light gaming, like not very stressful games or when you're first opening menus and stuff like that, the cooler will stay passive, which does make a huge difference. But it's not loud when it spins up either, thanks to those um, 10 millimeter thick heat pipes. They're enormous, which we'll see in a minute. But something that I do really like, and this is why I wanted to show you this slide as well, is the uh, six phase uh, Digi VRM. Uh, sorry, with six phase SAP. Um, uh, we've got the Super Alloy uh, MOSFETs there, we've got um, Super Alloy caps, Super Alloy chokes, so there should never be any buzzing, which we're going to find out in the main review. Um, it, it should uh, uh, um, increase the overclocking potential with the Digi VRM on the bottom. It should, and also something I like, if you look, the single 8-pin power connector is one end, but the power's all up the other end. Uh, to get it away from that end of the card and the card does look very very um uh, not i don't want to say plain or simple but it's just not very messy there's just it's quite a nice aesthetic design to that also the game your way thing the gpu tweak live stream and those of you out there that do twitch and stuff like that will find this highly interesting um obviously uh, from from my perspective it's not something that i personally do but this could be something great for you guys and i'd actually like to hear people's feedback once they get to use that as well so back to look at the card itself this literally is packet fresh i've just taken it out you can see we've got all the protective stuff on here as well first thing to kind of say about although we've covered it already is the single eight pin connector up here will make all your cable tied in um, nice and simple and if you do connect your eight pin there what you can do is if you see these little latches i'd actually use maybe one of these or even squeeze your eight pin down the side you can give this a little tweak i know it might sound a bit barbaric but you can give this a little tweak and it will hold your cables in down this side to help make things look extra extra tidy the back plate looks great, it's nice and simple again. The direct CU side of things um, is a bit confusing because it would have been something that we would have been used to with the last generations of cards, but it's the fact that it's direct contact cooling that goes in direct contact with the actual um, GPU core there. So that's why they do it. I still say that this should have been taken off and there should be a Strix logo there and it would have made things much simpler because um, it, it could get a little bit confusing. Round the back, We've got two DVIs, a HDMI and a DisplayPort, if I pull those off so that you can actually see. Also, what we can see from this angle as well is it's actually a little bit thicker than the PCI plate. So those of you out there with uh, like ITX cases with uh, restricted height available for your cases like the, um, the 240 Air and the 250D, those type of cases, this card wouldn't be... Um, uh, recommended for you guys it could get a little bit tight especially once you have your cables coming out this end so do keep those type of things in mind you can see that we've got two SLI ports here which obviously means that we can do triple and quad SLI if you're um, mental enough or rich enough to be able to afford it huge 10 millimeter heat pipe I mean that is just enormous but there's another two on this side as well the cooler itself looks very strix obviously i've seen a few of these now and they're all following the same type of branding i actually quite like that if you are into your customizations as well this metal shroud although it would void your warranty once you started ripping it apart but if you were to take the black off you could easily paint that and uh, have it match your rig so you could paint it white if you wanted or whatever 
Behind the um, the back here, we can see that I was just making sure that this wasn't an LED or anything, and I certainly can't see anything, although there is a screw up here. Just let me see, this is what I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to make sure that there's no power or anything going in there. And believe it or not, the camera's just helped me make my mind up. But um, we can see that we've got the Strix logo here. It is just a metal sticker. We'll uh, pull it off. And there we go. So, Strix uh, 970, factory overclock, GTX 970. Um, factory overclock is going to be coming in the UK uh, at £299. So the pricing on this, as with all of the uh, new NVIDIA cards, is very, very aggressive. Um, we will be reviewing this in the not too distant future. We do have other reviews live on the OC3D website, uh, all going live for NDA. So if you're interested, head over there for a look. But this is our Asus Strix GTX 970 Rush Kit. Look, and yeah, out. <laughs>